In this video, we're going to talk about choosing variables. So before you start, it's a good idea to imagine the experiment that we're talking about. So in investigation one, it says investigate how the distance a ball reaches depends on the angle it's thrown at. So we're going to take a ball and we're going to throw it. But every time we're going to change, if it's thrown off at this, uh, this angle, and we're going to change this angle every time. So already we're starting to think about the words in the thing. We're going to change the angle. And then the ball's going to land over here somewhere. And then we're going to measure this distance. And so let's think before we go any further about our Sid and Sam. So we'll write down Sid over here and Sam beside it. So the C stands for control, I for independent, D for dependent, and then we've got CM, alter and measure. So while we were thinking about the investigation, we decided we were going to change the angle and that is the same as altering. So that means our independent variable will be the angle. Then we decided we were going to measure our distance. And the one we measure is the dependent variable. So our dependent variable will be our distance. Last of all, we need to think about what our control variable will be. Well, each time we throw this ball, it's important that we use the same ball. So we may write down that our control variable will be the ball itself. But to be a bit more specific, we'll say a ball of the same mass. Okay, let's do another example. Our second investigation says, investigate how the mass of a glass of water depends, <coughs> excuse me, on how much water is in the glass. So we're going to Take a glass, fill it with water, and then on an electronic balance, we'll measure the mass. Then we're going to add some more water and measure the mass, some more water and measure the mass. So already we have realized that we are going to measure the mass. And we're going to change how much water is in the glass. But how much water isn't really a variable, isn't really um, a variable, it's not a proper scientific name. So the name we give to how much water we have and how we measure the amount of water is volume. So let's have a wee look at our Sid and Sam again. So we have our control, independent and dependent, just the same as, over, as at the top of the page. So we've already said that we're going to measure the mass and if we look at our m that is our dependent variable so our dependent variable will be the mass we've said that we're going to change the volume change means the same as alter so that's over here so our volume is going to be our independent variable And what are we going to keep the same? Well, we're not going to add water, then milk, then orange juice. So one of the things we might control <coughs> is the um, liquid, the type of liquid, which in our case is water. Okay, so just a reminder, if you come across a question where it says, identify the variables, so remember we're identifying the variables, then you need to think about the actual investigation, first of all. Write down some notes, even do a little sketch, and to help you decide what you're going to measure, what you're going to change, and then finally what you're going to control. Use Sid and Sam to help you. And also remember, when it asks you to identify a variable, 
it's not asking you for to write down dependent, independent, or control. It's actually asking you for to use the names of the variables. So in this case, the names of our variables, identifying the variables, they are our mass, volume, and then the type of liquid. Okay, I hope that helps.